in our world, prove it is the absolute enemy of innovation. You can only prove things that have happened in the past. A business person who wants innovation has to be open to the logic of what might be, not just the logic of what is. My name is Roger Martin. I'm Dean of the Rotman School of Management at University of Toronto. I think we're on the cusp of a design revolution in business because in many industries, the consumers are getting much more discerning and they want the provider to delight them. We have now a view about design that says, well, uh, companies have to be able to work better with uh, designers and understand designers better. I, I don't think that's the game. I think we're heading in a direction where business people actually have to become designers. Now, they're not going to become graphic designers or product designers. I, I, I don't assume that. What they're going to have to do, though, is become designers of user experiences, uh, designers of business models. They have to think that their job is designing something new and fantastic, not just doing something that's kind of like we always have done. By and large, the business person has been trained to do what I call analytical thinking, analyzing the past to produce reliability. The training of a designer, what they are interested in is not a consistent replicable outcome so much as an outcome that they love. That's why they tend to they tend to clash. I think they don't realize exactly why. It's partially because the logic they use is different. Design thinking is the form of thinking that combines the best of analytical thinking with intuitive thinking into a hybrid to produce both creativity and longevity. Designers often complain to me that they feel like when they're working in business, they're designing in hostile territory. And I think that to be a great designer, you simply have to look at that a different way. If you give, let's say, a product designer an extremely difficult design challenge, design this product and it's got to have all of these features, they get all excited about that. If you say to that same designer, I have a real challenge for you, a really old fashioned company that doesn't like to take chances and risks and I'd like you to go work for them. They'll typically say, ah, no, 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 no. I want to go work for some kind of cool, innovative company like Technion, right? Where they'll be friendly to me. There the design challenge is figuring out a way to work with that company. That's the design challenge. Rather than creating the product, it's how to work with, with them. And I would argue that the, the leaders of the most successful design firms in the world are the ones who figured that out. I mean, I would not say design matters, but rather design is absolutely essential. Right? It, we have to have better design uh, to move the world forward.